Well, a week ago, I was corralled on the shore. As the mists hung heavy over the hills and the bay. And a week later, you know, I'm still I'm fat. I'm ten years older than I was ten years ago. A lot of wickedness in the world, and you know, I, I asked my Lord, you know, what, what's the the way? What's your will, Lord? What's the way for us? For me? Relationship's still rocky, but difficult for both. Work life still chaotic. And I read in the book of Isaiah that you know, the way of the wicked will be have no rest. I'm thinking, is that me? Is it? 1 Corinthians 13 it says you know but now we see in a mirror darkly or through all the glass darkly and then we will know face to face when the Lord comes it'll be plain clear absolutely without doubt no not a question mark not 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 making that decision then walking another 10 yards and thinking oh no what about this it'll be certain God with us, Emmanuel. It's uh, on today's two one one uh, reading. If two one one dot org, some daily prayer and worship. I've been doing a series of names of God, and I had last Saturday by no coincidence was uh, thank you Lord. The, the Lord is my shepherd, Jehovah Raha. shall not want. He leads me beside the still waters, sets me to lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul. And yet still, you know, contest, still difficulty still, uncertainty, not doubting his magnificence, oh where am I, <laughs> his goodness, his nature doesn't change, but mine does, and one day this, one day that, I change directions, and you read about the enemy and of course he says when he walks into the courts of the Lord, at the beginning of the book of Job, and God, oh God, asked him, where have you been? He says, I've been roving around all the earth. Oh. Yes, so beautiful. Yeah. He said about the world being 4,000 years old, but Oh, 6,000 years old, whatever the biblical time, if you work back the years and the generations, the beginning. But believing in God is about believing in a God who's capable of making the world as it is, with everything in place, every hair, every grain of sand, every thought, every memory, every fossil record. Yeah? He can do it whenever he wants, that's what that's the power he wields. That's who he is. Yeah, he makes us from mud. I can do that. I also believe in a God who could, who could conceive of a plan and set things in motion in terms of 
the whirling of worlds and the swirling of forces that can do 600 and something million years of dinosaur evolution just to give us birds now. And that's how I see it, and that's the kind of you have thoughts like that, and you think, wow, amazing God. Yeah, you set everything in motion, all of this. The plants and the trees. Like a, like a dance to conceive a time now where I get the choice to come to Christ or not. Yeah? Everything, everything that's happened to me is part of my walk with you. You're with us. I read Emmanuel. I read God with us. That will be the sign. I read about Pentecost. And the Holy Spirit pouring out on the disciples, on the apostles and the disciples, you know, and that lighting that fire that just extended out into the world. Wow. It's not a mistake. It's not an accident. What do we have to contend it? Why do we fall to doubt? Because the world that we see, the world that we experience, says things differently. It says, oh no, you should be doing this and doing that, and you've not got this, you've not got that, so you're not doing that well. Yeah, you put yourself down. Things like roads, rails. It's not easy. <clears throat> we must and yet continue on. There are other things, overriding things in school at the moment, and in schools where I've been in the past. Getting a generation of young people to sort of lift their heads up above the parapet and say, it's okay, keep moving forward. It doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. And this is rubbish and I'm bored. You know, like you're surrounded. You can't know what you can't say to them because of separation of church and state and all that. Just look around you. See, feel, taste. Amazing things are going on every day. His mercies are pouring out. The river is flowing fast in this day and age. All the technologies and stuff. You can just open your eyes to him and his goodness and his story. You might start seeing that you have value, you have parts and places in it. And that by just walking, by just doing, you can actually start getting to it. You can actually get to a stage where you can say, I want to be involved. Yeah, a lot of people can just switch off, me included, for a long time. I can't handle it. I don't want to know that. What's the alternative? to overcome the greatest obstacle, to face down the powers and potentates of this dark world, to walk in righteousness, justice, goodness and truth. No, you won't always get it right. Yes, you'll be knocked from your thing. Yes, like me, you find yourself blazing at times. The enemy exultant, that he's overwhelmed you.
before you and behind you. He's with you before you wake up. He's there before you get there. He'll be there after you're gone. King David was now a very old man, and though they wrapped clothes around him, he could not keep warm. So his household said to him, Let us find a young virgin for your majesty, to attend you and take care of you, and let her lie in your bosom, sir, and make you warm. So they searched all over Israel for a beautiful maiden and found Abishag, a Shunammite, and brought her to the king. She was a very beautiful girl, and she took care of the king and waited on him but he had no intercourse with her. Yeah, seeking him and his wisdom may not make sense to young mind. It may not make sense to, um, you know, when held up in comparison with what everything else in the world is so challenging. But at the same time, There's nothing compared to the beauty of heaven. We can't even imagine that. That's it. That's worth fighting for, moving towards, taking courage about, being excited about. That even the best that I can see, and I can see some amazing things, some beautiful things, some wow, awe-inspiring thing. Ducks, waves, sea and sand and volcano. Wow. song goes, better one day in the house of the Lord than thousands of years far from him. I choose a corner in the house of the Lord over the kingdoms of men. Marcos Barrientos, I think the, uh, the Spanish group, they sing it, they sort of songs they translate it into English. Thank you.